Hi, I'm B-Rad, and welcome to the B-Rad Video Show. Today I'm here with my special guest, Zach, also known as It's World War Z. Thank you very much for coming in. Thanks for having me, Brad. I really appreciate it. All right, this is super awesome. Um, I've known Zach uh, for about five years. Uh, when I first met him, we uh, were playing uh, like retro games on my uh, computer, actually. We used to play games on a uh, break because I met him through work. And uh, we were playing uh, like a metro, a retro, uh, like main games, uh, stuff like uh, Dungeons and Dragons. That was pretty cool. We played both the Dungeons and Dragon games for uh, Capcom. They're like side-scrolling beat 'em ups, but like uh, you know, like with wizards, elves, a whole bunch of different type of uh, arcade machine games, and yeah, uh, yeah like a lot of um, like uh, Dungeons and Dragons. I remember was uh, yeah. a whole lot of. Fun. We used to play a POW too. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, Power Prisoners of War. That was a great game. Yeah, all these uh, really uh, <laughs> at the time state of the art uh, side scrolling games. Yeah. Uh, remember, I think we played Metal Slug too. Yep, that's a good one. Yeah, uh, all yeah. four of them actually. Um, yeah, well, the four that we played, I don't think we played all of them. Yeah, we didn't play the like I said, the newer ones wouldn't be uh, that old, but uh, yeah. I used to have a lot of games on my laptop, so we would just spend a lot of time playing so many different <laughs> games. It was really cool. Um, anyway, there's a reason why we're here today, and there's a reason why Zach's here today. And uh, so, pretty much, um, uh, why don't we get down to it? Why are we, why are we here, Zach? <laughs> well, Brad, uh, I invited me over to uh, today to talk about uh, the games I donated uh, to him and his his wonderful collection he's got here. Um, it's uh, the Sega Genesis games I gave him. Um, Sega Genesis is something that was always part of uh, my life growing up. Me and my older sister, we played it religiously. Um, and uh, some of the best games um, uh, growing up were uh, like Aladdin and um, Captain America and the Avengers. Um, uh, there was a whole bunch of NHL games I used to play all the time, but uh, yeah, super cool. It was uh, yeah, it was really good. Well, why don't we check out, check out some of the games that we got here? Yeah, sure. This is pretty awesome. This is the the games that he gave me. Look at this. this is, look at this box, man. Thank you, <laughs> dude, man. Like, thanks a lot. No problem. I'm glad I contributed, man. Like, I'm really surprised, like, you don't have to do this, and I think this is so awesome that you did. Um, lots of awesome games here. So, there's a couple here that we did want to talk about specifically, because, uh, Zach, you're, like, you're a massive, awesome sports fan. So, we got, like, we got, like, NHL 97, yeah, NHL we, 94. Yeah, we got NHL 93, 95, and 97. 97 being one of my yeah. favorites, um, especially the, the front cover of it. One of my favorite goaltenders growing up. Um, I also, uh, we also got here... Of course, uh, a lot of people's favorites, Mortal Kombat 3. Uh, I mean, you played this a uh, whole lot growing up. I'm sure you could talk a lot about that yourself. Mortal Kombat, you guys know I love Mortal Kombat! <laughs> love it. That, that's a shout out to my <laughs> buddy Jay. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> Fatality. Yeah. Get okay. over here. <laughs> um, the other one, um, I remember uh, playing a lot. Me and my sister, too. It's a great two-player uh, two game. It's uh, a racing game called uh, Dashing Desperados. And you're always racing each other. I know it sounds kind of corny, but it's like an old, your old, two old Western kind of guys always trying to compete for uh, this, this, um, their, this love that they're chasing. That it's, sounds cool. Um, uh, but you go through different levels, and you get to... It's a, it's a racing game where you get to, uh, you get to um, hurt the opponent, too, while racing at the same time to try to get something. Always the main goal. So that was a lot of fun. Um, this one I remember growing up, uh, Combat Cars. Combat Cars uh, was a really, really hard game. A lot like a lot of the Sega Genesis games uh, growing up, I found were really hard to play, um, or were, were, were easy to play <laughs> and, and get a lot of your time in. But uh, to actually uh, beat the the whole story and finish the game, I found um, in a lot of the different games, Aladdin being one of them, without cheating, using cheat codes to get ahead, um, were, were harder to actually complete the games. Uh, the other one, too, that we wanted to talk about was Comic Zone. Um, this one I want Brad to try. I, um, I know it's been a while for both of us. Uh, you did, you did, I have played this. You have played this game. Yes. Um, really great In the game. 90s. Uh, when it came out, just it was like it was such a great concept that you could uh, uh, pretty much be scrolling through a comic book. Um, yes. While, while fighting. Super fi cool. Fighting dudes. Can I see and, that um, one? Yeah. Yeah. You got this from a Jumbo video. I remember going to Jumbo video and they used to give you those bags of popcorn when you're going yeah, in there. I might still owe Jumbo video for that, actually. Yeah, well, I'm <laughs> sure they're not looking for you <laughs> yeah. anymore. <laughs> I'll give them your name. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, awesome. Man, wow, that's super awesome. Thank you again so much for that. My pleasure. My pleasure. Okay, um, 
I want to ask you a couple of questions just sure. because uh, some of the viewers might be interested about some of your other gaming interests and stuff. Um, well, since we got some Genesis games here, let's. Uh, 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 what is your favorite um, favorite Genesis game ever? Um, favorite Sega Genesis game, I'd have to say, would be Aladdin. Um, but it's in a tight race with NHL '97. Uh, Aladdin, Aladdin itself is a great game coming up. It was just a lot. We, like my household grew up on Disney, so um, it was such. It was so great how every level was just like the movie. Um, Every level had a different song to it, so the, the music was so catchy. Uh, the graphics were really good for the time, uh, the game. Um, They're amazing. Really, really, yeah. really hard game, too. Um, like I said, um, yes. so many harder games, like Genesis. Beating this one was difficult. I could get pretty far in it, I remember, but uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a difficult one that uh, ate up a lot of my time. But yeah, definitely one of my favorites. Uh, for the, for the That's Genesis. cool. And NHL as well. Yeah, NHL 97, like I said. Um, uh, I played a lot of that too. Uh, I love hockey, love sports, so it was one of the one of the best games. Well, especially because the Florida Panthers. Though. Yes, yeah. yes, the Florida Panthers did. Uh, they they graced the you can the, shout that out the, the, the front of the uh, the front of the actual uh, box uh, of the NHL '97 game um, featured a John Van Beesbrook goaltender uh, who was on my favorite team, the Florida Panthers. So it was pretty sweet, cool. yeah. that's awesome. It was awesome. Cool, man. All right. Also, what would be your favorite 16-bit game? Like, you know, SNES, Genesis, Turbo Graphics 16, uh, you know, 16-bit consoles, anything. Uh, if I, I if I had to pick one, um, uh, <laughs> I would say probably uh, Super Nintendo. Um, Zelda: Link to the Past was uh, a game uh, that I played Sweet. Um, yeah. religiously as well. Um, I, I remember how how great it was, all the different levels, all the things you could do. It was, it was such a big game, and you could the way you could save. It was just different for for a, a 16-bit game like that. Oh, it was awesome! I remember how you had the two mirror worlds, and yeah. compared to uh, some of the older Zeldas, it was just a much more complete yeah. package. And uh, You're right. you know, you could get lost easily in the older ones. It this almost one felt like felt... you had two games when you had the two worlds, right? Like the game was so long and yes. big, and too. Yes, definitely so. awesome. Yeah, so. uh, one of Nintendo's finest games. For Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. You also were telling me you loved a uh, certain Captain America game for Genesis. Um, yeah, out of uh, yeah, you know what? I I take it back that uh, Captain America and the Avengers is probably uh, my favorite game of all time. Uh, thanks for reminding me about that one. Yeah, no problem. That, you yeah. just were telling me so much about it. Yeah, yeah. Gr growing up playing that game was uh, just nostalgic. Think uh, thinking about it, I wish I had. Uh, Actually, uh, a copy to give you, but and donate to you. Oh, no, that'd be sweet. But um, I'd maybe, love to play it. <laughs> maybe someday. Uh, it was a great, uh, a great game, though. Um, uh, it it featured all my favorite kind of uh, superheroes that uh, I enjoyed watching growing up, and then now doing all the new cool Marvel movies, it makes it even more cooler to me. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of all of that. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, it was it was awesome to uh, fight as. Uh, I remember the four characters actually were um, Captain America. Um, Hawkeye, uh, Vision, and um, and Iron Man. I, I got them right, right. I got them right. Yeah, right. That was yeah. Before them. Save yeah. the best for last. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Iron Man. Awesome. Was, <laughs> well, Captain nowadays, first, Iron yeah. Man was more like a you know like a B kind of character or even C level possibly. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, with all the movies, of Robert Downey Jr. just totally uh, leading the way. Like it's just uh, he's like. The most famous character now, for sure, yeah. absolutely, yeah, recognized. Other than maybe your uh, your boy Wolverine. Oh, Wolverine! Yeah. Yeah. I love Wolverine. Yeah, yeah. no, I'm such a big Logan fan. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm a Cap fan myself. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's super cool. Okay, um, I have one more question for you. Sure, what would sure. be your favorite gaming console ever across all systems, all generations? Ooh, that's, that's a good question. Um, I it's 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 a it's a standalone system. It would be uh, right in my mind is uh, N64, Nintendo 64. Nice. Um, they had great games. Uh, Zelda uh, was another game going back to Zelda. Me being a big fan of that. Uh, Ocarina of Time. Uh, but the first game uh, I got was uh, Mario 64. And I played that so much, and it was just, it was like state of the art when it came out. Yeah. Uh, it was just the must have when uh, growing up. So that, that ate a lot of my time, too. I played WWF No Mercy a lot with me and my buddies growing up, too, being really into the rest Those games look really Maybe impressive. Not, yeah. Back when, back when uh, we were young kids, they looked so when, impressive. When they, when, yeah. they, when they first yeah. came out, yeah, the graphics were just like, wow, they're mind blowing, right? So, um, yeah, uh, that was uh, that was the reason why I liked N64 a lot. Uh, I mean, it was always cool. Uh, all the Mario games, Mario Kart, Mario Parties, 
um, being um, go I forgetting Goldeneye. Um, that was oh, yeah, that was for sure. Absolutely yeah. classic. Um, oh, there's so many awesome games for N64. And, and being able yeah. to play with four players too was 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 yes, great that was super awesome. No multi tap. Yeah, right. You got it. Yeah. Kids nowadays probably don't even know what a multi-tap is. <laughs> yeah, I feel so old talking yeah. about stuff like that. Yeah, no, that's awesome. I, it's super, super cool. Uh, thanks a lot for that. I think N64 is so awesome. Yeah. Um, um, I was a PS1 guy, so um, I used to uh, go over to my friend's house and play N64, or even traded my N PS1 for an N64 for like a weekend with one of my friends. Yeah. And so I got to play Super Mario 64, and I stayed up like all night doing it. You know, I only had it for like two <laughs> for days, so I was like. Uh, Super Mario 64 and Golden. I think that's what I first played. Yeah. Like when I first tried it on my own. Yeah. Yeah. It was. I remember really you could cool. rent the systems actually too, and uh, um, I remember renting some systems, but I ended up getting, yeah. Uh, bought my parents bought me an N64 eventually. I but, rented. Uh, but I remember some renting. Si yeah, renting. Systems I rented too. like a PS1 and like a Sega CD. And now like yeah. there's like no blockbusters left, and all that's yeah. gone. Right, Jumbo Video. Like they just cease yeah. to exist. But, uh, oh, that's really cool. Uh, thanks a lot for coming in here. Um, super awesome. Yeah. I really appreciate this awesome game thanks donation of super awesome Genesis games. This is so cool. Anyway, if you guys like to see more videos like this, then please hit the like button. Also subscribe and also tap that bell icon to get more updates of the B-Rad Video Show. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again, man. I really appreciate this. No problem. Awesome. I didn't have it. I didn't have it on. I didn't have it on yet. You said Bucky. I just felt like school. Captain America yeah. and Bucky are so good. And I'm going to talk about how Captain America is my favorite game. Mainly because of the <laughs> close relationship between Captain America and his sidekick pal Bucky. And how Falcon gets uh, really jealous about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. Oh, man. Well, Captain America is super cool and impressive and I'm totally a heterosexual man. Just had to put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> but it, Captain America is cool. Right. <clears throat> Hi, I'm B Rad. Welcome to the B Rad Video Show. Today I'm here.